Detailing is the crucial part in hard surface modeling. By adding some small cuts, labels, and surface imperfections will drastically change the aspect of your model, only if you're done in proper way. In this tutorial, I'll be breaking down the secrets of details and how you can apply in your model with ease. Shall we begin? All right, in part five, we learned how to add material to our model. For those who new here, check the playlist link in my description. You will get access to all parts of Blender tutorial series. Now let's start with the lens. I add a sphere and scale it down. This is going to be something like a glass. So fix it inside the hole. You can duplicate it all two side or do it later. Next, the legs look very simple. I would like to add some cuts. Let me place my 3D cursor in top middle of the, the leg. Then add a cube and scale it down. Now just increase the size on X axis. Next, rotate it to the same rotational direction of the leg. After you finish, apply scale to the cube and press forward slash key to hide other objects. Tab to edit mode and select all four edges. Press Ctrl B to bevel with five to 10 segments. Shade smooth for smooth surface. Now go back to object mode. Here select the leg with shift left click and press Ctrl minus and numpad. To apply difference, Boolean. Now I'm going to introduce a new modifier called Array. Array modifier creates an array of copies of the base object, with each copy being offset from the previous one in any of a number of possible ways. By increase the count, you can generate multiple copies of your object. In case you want to change the axis, you can done that by change the value of factor. Now I want the offset to be Y axis. So zero on X axis and one to Y axis. If I increase the count, it would generate from Y axis direction. All right, let's apply what we learned. So add array modifier. Now change the factor offset value. In my case, I want to generate the copies downwards. So it's going to be Z axis. I add minus two, so we have more space to each other. Next, increase the count to three. I hope you can see that the depth is gradually decreased. The first cutters is more deep than the third one. Easiest way to solve this problem is by rotating it on X axis. Press X, X to rotate it on rotational direction. Let me see. Where else can we add detail? Okay, let's start with the bottom piece. Press tab to edit mode. Now add a horizontal loop cut here, then bevel it with one segment. Next extrude along normal. Just drag it down and scale down on Z axis. Follow the same to the upper part. There is a reason for adding deep cuts and lines. When we finally render our image, these deep cuts will highlight our model. It's not rendering class, so we discuss a lot in the next part. Now let's perform a small cut here. So add a cube and scale it very small. Increase the size on Y axis, so it even cuts the bend area. Now apply Boolean by pressing Ctrl minus. Instead of doing the same operation, we can mirror to the other side. So apply the modifiers and move the cutter to the collection now go to edit mode and A to select all then symmetrize. That's it. Next, I would like to add a mini laser scanner. For that, I add a cylinder, like I already said. It's going to be tiny. So scale it small and rotate it on X axis. Just apply scale and go to edit mode. Now here, I created something in my mind. You can create your own ideas, just your creativity. If you want to add something, a machine gun at bottom or anything comes to your mind, you can do that. It's unleash your creativity and your skills in modeling. Okay, shall we add material to the new mesh we added to our model? Great. So let me start with the sphere. I said it's a glass right. So press this new material, find something called transmission. First, let's decrease the roughness value to 0.1, then max out the transmission value. To take it step further, change the color to something bright red. This will create a LED light texture. Now we are ready to duplicate it and move it to the other sides.
For the laser, it would be the dark metallic material. Also apply the material for this one. Now you can see our model almost improved significantly, but it's not enough. So let's start adding labels to our model. So if you watch the part five, you already installed the package. So go to KitOps add-on and allocate a new path. Now go to the download folder and install this free mini pack. Now you got a new option at bottom. You can select any one of this. Let me pick this one or just select the model and click the add insert button. Now if you move the cursor, the label follow back. I would like to place it middle and press enter or left click to confirm. Scale it down if you want. Right now the label looks flat. So what you can do is by add some loop cuts and go back to object mode. By the label selected, go to modifier tab. You can find a shrink wrap modifier. Just don't worry you need to set the target as the hour model. Now you notice that our label bends. In case if you want any color adjustment, you can achieve them by going to shading tab. Here, just disconnect the node from BSDF shader color. Now you can adjust any color you want. I don't want to go crazy. So I'm go with dark black and decrease the alpha value slightly for realism. Let's see how it's look. Cool, baby, it's matched perfectly. Let me take a look at my model. I'm finding a good spot to add another label. Leg looks empty, right? So it would be great if I add below the cutter. Pick any one of these. I think this one can suit well. We are gonna do the same as we done before. A quick information in case the label is hiding or not visible. Go to the first modifier, just decrease or increase until it's solved the issue. I think we can perform a cutter at top. For that, add a cube of scale at something like this. Apply scale and bevel those corner and perform a different Boolean. I think we can make this cut deep. Don't neglect these small tricks, or else your model looks something like an unrealistic or, I don't know, but it's not interested. This is where our detailing starts spice it up. Let's play with texture and imperfections. Right now, go down the description. You can find a link to download Quick Roughness add-on. After you downloaded, go to the add-on and select the zip file and install. Now expand the node. Now we need to install the packages. So click the folder icon and go to the package and install them as well. Now press N to open side panel, select item. At bottom, you can see a tool called QRL. Click that one. In case if it's not load, click the refresh button. Here you have many types of imperfections. Luckily, it's very easy to apply. Just select any one of those and press Add Roughness button. Within a few seconds, it will add it to the material. But we have an issue in that. You can see the texture is not applied properly. Some scratches are uneven. It happens because the model is not unwrapped properly. So go to UV Editing tab, press a to select all, then press U and select Smart UV Project. Default is fine, but I would like to change the angle limit to 80. Now it's okay, but I don't want to waste time in that, so it's perfectly fine. And the best part using this add-on is the scratches will directly apply to the material. So the imperfections will affect all connected material. Another way to add imperfections is by downloading some texture online and connect it to your model.